Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a very lovely day. If you're new here, please do click that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're alerted to all of my upcoming videos. Also head over to my Instagram and give me a little follow there too because I always love connecting with you guys who found me on YouTube over on the gram too. Now I wanted to jump on and do a video today which I wasn't planning on doing, hence why I'm wearing like my cosy house cardigan which is like my favourite because it's so snuggly and it's so chilly right now. Um, so you're going to have to just like put up with like my total like mum comfy cardigan and just deal with it. But today's video is very exciting. This box has just arrived and we are going to be looking at this amazing and super heavy. This is the Holland and Barrett Latest in Beauty Vegan Beauty Edit. Now, I have not done a vegan beauty unboxing thing or anything like that on my channel before. I have on my blog, but I thought this was a great opportunity. You guys are loving my um, box unboxing videos. So I thought why not dive in, unbox this together and see what it's all about because I am as much obsessed with the whole rising attention and trend of green beauty, vegan beauty, like there's definitely like more of an interest in it now, far more than there ever has been. So it's great to see what brands are doing, what they're creating to be more vegan friendly, cruelty free and stuff like that. So you know if it's from Holland and Barrett, it's gonna be ticking all of those great boxes. So I thought we would unbox this baby together. It's so heavy, I can barely lift it up but I thought you'd like to see what's inside as much as I would because I haven't even peeked yet. So the finer details of the box. It is a 30 pound box, but you get over 120 pounds worth of products inside and it contains 19 individual items. So for 30 pounds, that's a huge amount of products to try. And I guess if you're wanting to dip your toe in like the vegan cruelty free beauty market, this would be a great and affordable way of doing it. So let's have a little look inside and dive into the unboxing. Okay, so the outside comes off like this and you've got the standard latest in beauty box inside. I'm gonna unbox it your beauty, your cho choice, love that. So I'm gonna unbox it like this so you can just get a little peek of what's inside before we go through all of the products together. So you've got the leaflet that comes inside with details of the products and this guys, oh, I told you it was heavy. That's everything, how cool is that? That box is stocked full of great products and I can't wait to see what they all are. Now, before I go any further, I will definitely start, I don't know if this is a disclaimer or whatever, but I'm not a vegan, nobody in my family is vegan, so I'm not professing to be like the expert or anything like that. Um, we do make health conscious decisions regarding what we eat and what we use and we are becoming a lot more friendly with the choices that we're making as a family. We're very big on recycling, you know, cutting down our plastic intake and stuff like that so that is like where we sit in the market but obviously we as much as any other family want to be doing as much as we can so if there's any products in here that we can switch out for our daily routines I'll be super pleased so let's dive into the first product we have got it is a biodegradable toothbrush I've never even heard of a biodegradable toothbrush that's really really cool okay so it says you have to replace it every six to eight weeks, which is fine, there's no plastic in here, and the handle and the packaging is completely biodegradable. That is pretty cool. Um, it's all black, I quite like that. I have no idea why toothbrushes are white. Like, who made them white? Like, if I have a coffee or too much Diet Coke, when I'm brushing my teeth and I look at the bristles, it, whoa, it's just not nice. So whoever thought about white toothbrushes needs to take a, a leaf out of this brook, brook, book. But that's quite cool, and it comes with a little stand as well, so you can use it and like stand it on your sink. I really like that, actually. I think we'll all be fighting over this one in our house. I may have to like buy three more so that all four of us have got one of our own. Okay, next up we have got Salt of the Earth Classic. This is natural deodorant crystal. Now a friend of mine um, makes her own crystal deodorant. I have no idea how, um, but she raves about it. And this is what it looks like. It's completely unscented. I literally can't smell anything, but I guess if it, let's see how it works. So literally all you do is wash it, no, to use on dry skin, wet me first and then apply it. Okay, that's great. So you have to just dry it off afterwards. But I'm gonna give this a go, you know, like I am not a really sweaty person. That's probably TMI, but we're sharing here. Um, I'm not a sweaty person. So this probably isn't something that like I don't have to buy like really intensive antiperspirant or anything. So I, I guess I might actually get on okay with this one. And seeing as we've got it, we'll definitely try it. So I'll be intrigued to see how that one works. Okay, next up in the box, we've got some Sukin. Now I fully expected to find Sukin in here because they are a very affordable beauty brand who are 
vegan friendly, cruelty free, they tick all of those boxes, natural, that kind of stuff. Um, I have tried several of their products before. This is their Super Greens Cleansing Oil. Now, it says it contains super green extracts, sunflower and grapeseed oils. It removes dirt, makeup and leaves skin looking radiant. It's 125 mils. That is the perfect everyday cleanser, isn't it? I guess if you have sensitive skin, anything like this is gonna be great. It's also paraben free. So if you are very cautious about what you put on your skin and you don't want any of those kind of nasty products, this is a great brand to try. There's literally a whole list of everything that there isn't in here. It says things like no petroleum, no idea what that is, no synthetic fragrances, no artificial colors, no animal derivatories, no harsh detergents. I can't even say some of these words, but no silicones, no parabens, no sulfates. So nothing bad in there. What a great brand and very much in keeping with this edit. Okay, moving on. Now I actually do already have this. This is the Tisserin Sleep Better. Um, it's like an oil, it's an oil, pure essential oil blend. You know, it's like a roller ball that you can put on your pulse points before you go to sleep. It's to help you sleep better. It's the sleep better range, obviously. Um, and the idea is that you can put it behind your ears, on your temples, on your wrists, places like that. And it's supposed to calm like the natural essential oils and it should help like relax you before you go to sleep and lull you into a better state of sleep. Uh, it's a 10 mil, so full size. I'm very, very big on essential oils. I have lavender, um, always that I can put in my bath or like mix with other things. Um, a very big tip. I actually have um, a little egg cup, whatever you call it, an egg cup, and you fill it with milk and you put two drops of lavender oil in there, pop it in the bath, and it actually absorbs into your skin better. So some people put lavender and essential oils directly into the bath. Actually, if you get an egg cup and you just fill it with milk, just normal milk out of the fridge, and then put your oil in that, it helps the oil to kind of go into the bath rather than if you ever put essential oils in the bath, you'll see it sit on the top, won't you? But actually, the milk helps it absorb, so it helps to absorb into your skin rather than just sitting on the top of the water and kind of going on your skin. So a tip there for when you're using any type of essential oil in water. Okay, now we have got some of the Fru Watermelon Lip Balm. Now, I do really, really rate this. I've already got this. It's a lovely nourishing lip balm. It's full size. It's got real watermelon, mango, and coconut in. It's very good at nourishing the lips, and we all get dry skin, especially on our lips in the winter, so this is really lovely. It's completely organic so not anything to worry about there and you know everybody can have a good lip balm in their handbag right i'm really liking this edit and seeing all the different beauty products in here okay next up we've got some urban vida this is the soothing day cream it says it's got organic aloe vera soothing ylang ylang and it's for sensitive skin it's sandalwood botanics anything with sandalwood is good by me um it's cruelty free and vegan friendly it's a 10 mil so it's a really really great way of trying it a day cream is another word for a moisturizer guys like you can call them different things but they do the same Thing, basically so this would be a lovely one to try and see if you get on with it obviously moisturizers and things can either work or not work for your skin so this would be a nice little product to try on a nice little 10 mil okay now I did actually think this was a different brand based on what it looks like but it's not this is nat Naturaline it's the beauty kitchen um 100% natural 0% petroleum league vegan lip treatment Again, doesn't smell of anything. I think I'm getting that as a like a general here. A lot of these products are unscented. I'm gonna pop this over here. Okay, there we go. Um, and it's a 20 grand full size. So it's basically another lip balm, another lip treatment that we've got. So between these two, you are stocked up on your lip stuff. Okay, now we have got, this is called, I've never heard of it again, Salcura Natural Skin Therapy Max Strength Clear Skin. Um, I think it's like a, oh rapid action spot control now anyone with blemishes would love something like this and it says it works in as little as four hours now a spot treatment i must admit i didn't expect to find in here because a lot of that kind of blemish beating stuff does have to have really strong strength products in there but obviously there's a lot of tea tree in here which is a natural way to fight blemishes um i really like the sound of that i do have a lot of blemishes myself especially at the moment so i'm very very excited to try that it's a 15 mil so full size i'm quite impressed i'm very surprised to find something like this in here okay next up in our little box of tricks we have got some sea magic this is the three seaweed scalp mug mug mud uh, a daily conditioning treatment to soothe the scalp and hydrate the hair so it's like a hair mask that's really cool um vegan natural free from sustainable and cruelty free it's 150 mil that's amazing and it's got dead sea mud in there and nourishing coconut oil two great things that are very very good for like rehydrating and as we know 
anything with coconut oil is great for the hair. So very excited to try this. I will 100% be giving this a go this weekend. Okay, now another brand I fully expected to find in here. This is Dr. Organic. Again, this is a hair care product. It says bioactive hair care, which sounds quite cool. And it's a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and it's got hemp oil. Oh my gosh, this sounds actually really good. Anything with hemp oil, everyone's raving about right now and it smells beautiful, very essential oil type. Um, it says it refreshes and restores. It's got organically certified and natural extracts in. It's a full size. Now, I would be very happy with my family using this one. Um, the list of ingredients on the back is really, really cool and impressive. Aloe vera leaf juice, patchouli oil, um, elderflower, elderberry flower extract. There's just so many healthy things in here. Like as I'm going through this, it's just reminding me like compared to a lot of like the other shampoo and conditioners on my shelf, this is completely different. Like there's lots of things I can't even pronounce that are completely man-made in my others. But this is a really lovely product to try. And again, one I will happily switch out and try out myself this week. Okay, now we have got another. This is a 20 mil. This is the Walida. Um, I'm trying to read where it says what it is, but everything is in a different language on the front. I don't actually know. I'm gonna to have to use the leaflet for this one. Okay, so it says it's citrus hydrating body lotion. It says this exquisitely cooling and lightweight body lotion with natural oils awaken the body, mind and spirit and leaves things fully nourished. So I'm guessing it must smell quite nice. Walida, a brand I've heard Victoria Beckham really likes their face food or something um, and I did I've actually got some to try from all the advent calendars I unboxed so I'm very excited to try a little bit more from them and I know that they are very affordable too so body lotion good all-round product I guess okay now we have got some nature na nature tint this is natural hairspray who knew that there was something like that now this is a 30 mil it says it repairs, protects, and it seals split ends. Pretty much everything you want a good hairspray to do. Um, it's holding and protecting. I will 100% try this. I do require quite a lot from my hairspray and get through quite a lot because my hair is so fine. If I don't use hairspray, it just goes flat, which is a pain in the bum. But this is a 30 mil. Um, it says shake well before use, spray evenly onto dry hair gives great hold. Again, I'll quite happily switch this out and give it a go. Okay, so over here we have got, this is the Aloe Dent, this is whitening toothpaste. So it's Aloe Vera Fluoride Toothpaste. Now, it's mint, it's got mint flavour. It helps to get rid of staining, red wine, stain smoking, tea, coffee, everything you would want a really good toothpaste to do. And it is vegan friendly and cruelty free. Um, I'm impressed. Again, I'm going to switch that out. I've now got my new toothbrush and my toothpaste. I'm really excited to try and switch as many of these products into my normal regime. Maybe I should like vlog it and like switching my like normal beauty regime or vegan. That might be quite a cool video, don't you think? Okay, next up, we've got some Faith in Nature Dragon Fruit Body Wash. I do like Faith in Nature. I got some of their soap at Christmas and it's lovely. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. That's amazing. It's a 400 mil. It is just a revitalizing body wash, vegan, cruelty free again, and it's 99% natural origin, no SLLs or parables. Parables? Parabens. Parables, I think, is from the Bible. Parabens, there's none of them in there. Um, but it smells beautiful. Great body wash. I reckon that would bubble nicely so my kids can enjoy it as well. And I love the packaging of this range. Very fun. Making vegan products very fun, I think is important because it's going to draw in that younger audience um, who really should be switching out as much as they can. And I am like for the next generation and I am very excited to try this and it smells beautiful. <laughs> This makes me laugh because I saw this product somewhere else recently and I was like, what is that? This is Push Up Buttocks Sculpting Gel. It shapes, smooths and firms your derriere. Ladies, are we going to give this a go? Um, it's natural. It sounds quite fun. It's not a product I have tried before. Um, it's got a lot of nice ingredients in. And I mean, if it's going to help like firm my bum, I would give it a go. I've had two kids. It's not as perky as it used to be. What can I say? But I mean, it's a bit of fun and definitely not the sort of product I was expecting. But what more can I say? Okay, now I'm just looking at the next one. This is Eco Denta and it's Black Whitening Mouth Foam. I am very intrigued by this one. This one has piqued my curiosity the most, I think. So it's fluoride free and alcohol free. It's basically like a mouthwash. Yeah, it's a black mouth foam for instant freshness and it whitens the teeth. Hello, I mean, I'm quite intrigued by that. I would, again, guys, I'm, 
I love making these videos when I'm like, oh, I'm interested to see. And then as I'm going through, I'm like, this is genuinely really impressing me and surprising me. There's so many products I didn't even know existed. Um, I didn't even know you could get a blackening mouth foam, let alone a vegan one. Um, so that's quite cool. Okay, we've got another e urban, I'm getting all my words wrong today, Urban Vida product. This is the Reviving Exfoliating Facial Polish. So again, a little bit like an exfoliator. Using post cleanser, this will just pull out all of the dirt and build up in your pores to just give you a deeper clean. Um, it is a 20 mil, so you'll get a really, really good use out of it to decide if it's for you or not. Anything that exfoliates or deeply cleans can sometimes cause irritation or red skin, so it's best to try a smaller size before you invest in the fill. But again, a lovely product great all-rounder facial skincare is just as important for somebody whether they're vegan or not so it's nice to see some alternatives okay we've nearly got to the bottom of our box and we've got two more products in here this one is this says northern soap for deep facial cleansing how cool is that so this is natura siberica i think cosmetics of wild herbs and flowers born in siberia made in europe okay and that is what it looks like here it is a oh wow it's black it smells like Battenberg. It actually smells like Battenberg. That is crazy. Um, I'm still a little bit like, what does it actually do? Let's have a look. Facial cleansing. That's quite cool. So it says it's a soap filled with unique properties of lots of herbs and berries made from activated charcoal. Hello, I've got oily skin. I would totally give this a go. Let's have a look. So it comes off like that. feels nice it feels really nice actually and it's also got that kind of like matteness to it that you'd want if you have oily skin gonna try that tonight and last but not least we've got some of the holland and barrett own brand this is the vitamin c and hyaluronic acid um it's an oil a serum i have actually tried this before guys so it's basically for brightening anti-aging obviously vitamin c is great if you want to awaken the skin give it some more radiance it just perks the skin up hyaluronic acid is great as we know for anti-aging because it plumps the skin it teaches the skin to like hold a lot more water so you don't look dehydrated so it doesn't make the fine lines look worse um, this is a 30 mil obviously the brighten and restore serum it's just if you're going to use a serum, something like this is a great all-rounder no matter what age you are because it's going to do quite a lot for your skin in one simple step. I just apply my serum, a, a couple of drops on my forehead, one on the cheek, one on the cheek and one down here and just rub in. Use a jade roller over the top and you are good to go. So there's actually a lot to be said about using a great serum in your skincare and this would be an affordable way of hitting all of the things that you want in a great serum, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, love that okay guys there we have it that is the holland and barrett latest in beauty vegan beauty edit completely unboxed what do you think please let me know your thoughts in the comments below i should also mention that in the box i found a little 10 percent off voucher code for all of the items in the edit when you go into holland and barrett which is a nice little touch my thoughts are this for 30 pounds you get all of those products like it's crazy good, like great value. And I was surprised by some of the products in there, things I didn't even know existed, a biodegradable toothbrush, blackening mouth foam, and some products I'm actually really excited to try. Namely, that black cleanser sounds really, really good. So I'm gonna switch out as many of my products this week as I can for that. But for 30 pounds, I've got like oral health, I've got shower gel, I've got shampoo and conditioner, I've got my facial skincare sorted, I've got lip balm. I've literally touched every base that I possibly can. And I think it'd be really fun to switch out these products and I think if you're into vegan beauty and or you are a vegan and only use vegan friendly products or you are into cruelty free or you just basically want to be more health focused wellness focused with your beauty choices this is a great investment 30 pounds for all of that I can quite clearly see how it's worth 120 because there's so much in there like I definitely give this box like a massive thumbs up like I can't really rate it out of 10 because what more could you want from an edit that is all around green beauty and vegan friendly and stuff? Like it would have to get a 10 out of 10 in that sense because there's so much variety in here. So it's getting full marks from me, a massive thumbs up and I highly recommend it. Guys, if you are interested in snapping it up, I do recommend doing that ASAP because the latest in beauty edits sell out real, real quick. I will link below where you can pick it up. I do also have a 20% off link, which I think is only valid on the subscriptions, like their monthly subscriptions rather than their collections, but you'll just have to try it and see. Otherwise, I still think 30 pounds is a really good buy for this. But like I said, I'll link below. And 
and do let me know if you're going to be picking it up for yourself. I love hearing from you guys when you're buying stuff because you see what's inside and you're like, oh my gosh, I want that too. Really hope that you have enjoyed today's video, guys. It's been a really fun one and very different for me. Um, it's always interesting for me to see new products and try new things and I'm very much excited to try it in this coming week. If you do think that you would like to hang around for all of my future videos, please do click that subscribe button, ring the bell, head over to Instagram and give me a follow because I love connecting with you guys as we go through the weeks and you know if you aren't following me on the gram you'll miss all of my craziness behind the scenes on my Instagram stories so there's a little incentive. Thank you so much for watching today's video I'm going to go and snuggle up in my little cardigan now because it's still super chilly but I do hope you've enjoyed watching it and I will see you very soon for my next video. Bye!